Hey, what's up, good people? Uh, welcome to Stock Up with Larry Jones. If this is your first time, um, go ahead and hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell. I'm just going to talk with you about God and how God wants you to be wealthy. God wants you to be rich. Um, and before we even start, someone's going to say, yeah, but, the, you know, Bible says the poor will be with you always. And that is true. But it's, it's not for you to be poor. It's for you to take care of the poor. Right. The reason why it's more blessed to give than to receive is because it's more blessed to be in the position of the giver and not the receiver. Understand how this works. So for you, that is not your plight. So never buy into that. Um, the reason why I'm making this is because there's a lot of videos that's, that, are, that are up right now, right? And I'm not um, going to point anyone out. And um, and there's when people say, hey, you know, I had a dream and God gave me this dream. And, you know, I don't dispute that because it wasn't me. So I, I'm careful not to throw other people under the bus. But every time uh, I've noticed, every time the, you know, lottery goes up, here comes all of these dreams and then they have to do with numbers. And you guys remember, you know, uh, uh, back, you know, about six months ago when Shiba Inu looked like it was about to turn around. Everybody had these Shiba Inu dreams and they get a lot of views and, you know, they ask people to say this and say that and they get like 5,000 comments and that sad. It's really sad, and that's why I'm making this video. It's sad because people want to get rich quick, right? People want to get rich quick. I'm going to stick a pin right there, and I want you guys to know that on this platform for my live videos, for anyone's live videos, they have moved those to another tab. I'm going to say that on every single video. So if you look, it'll say videos, most popular and they'll say videos and then they'll say live. So sometimes in the morning I come on with my lives, okay? I just wanna let you guys know that. And I'll talk about the plays of the day, okay? Let's get back to the matter at hand. Um, so now, people wanna get rich quick. Everybody wants, everybody wants to take the elevator and nobody wants to take the stairs. Just remember that. Everybody wants to take the elevators, nobody wants to take the stairs. The problem is there's a sign that says in case of a fire, take the stairs and not the elevator. Well, your finances is on fire and it's time for you to take the stairs. It is not, God is not a get rich quick God. God is not a table in Vegas. And we uh, Christians, some Christians have done a horrible job in portraying who God is. I'm trying to get that clear that glare down, has done a, a, a horrible job on who God is and what they say. Now, none of us are perfect. I proved that last week on one of my videos. Um, none of us are perfect and we all strive for perfection. But I'm gonna tell you that God wants you rich, but I'm gonna tell you how. See, that's the difference. I'm gonna tell you how and why. The why is, is you're supposed to be the lender and not the borrower. That is in the Bible. And let me dis, let me dismiss some myths out there. And then I'm going to tell you why God wants you rich and then how. You know, yes, there's a scripture that says uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, a lot of people think that if you're trying to get wealthy, then that's evil. No, that is not. It says the love of money. So if you love money, then you love people. Or if you love money, then you love uh, God. If you love money more than you love anything else, then you you have your priorities out of whack. So that's what that scripture means. So get it straight because a lot of people hear stuff, never read the Bible, and they got it wrong, okay? Because the Bible also says money answereth all things, okay? And there's a parable about the talent in the Bible. I want you guys to Read that for yourself. Just Google talents in the Bible. All right. Parable about the talents. I want you guys to read it for yourself 
because it's all about investing. All right. That parable in the Bible is all about investing. Now, let me tell you this. The reason that God wants you wealthy is he doesn't want you struggling. Society wants you struggling. Our current school system wants you struggling. Everything is set up to cap you off. I'm not going to go into that. I've went into those things and line them out line by line what they are. And there's so many more of them. And yes, I'm going to make more videos on how we are taught to be docile and prompt factory workers. Doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter if you're making 30,000 or 130,000. You got bills, you got a house, you got a car, and you got bills. But you're not wealthy. And wealthy, the Bible speaks about generational wealth. It speaks about you being not wealthy and leaving an inheritance for you, your children, and your children's children. But let me tell you guys how God wants you to be rich, okay? Let me tell you uh, a couple of things. Number one, he gave everybody a gift and your gift makes room for you. I've went over this time and time again. Your gift is not what you're good at. Your gift is what people will pay you for. Some of you, your, your gift is worth a million dollars, but you don't understand what your why is because you're chasing your passions. That's a whole nother series, a whole nother video that I'm going to continue to build upon until more and more people understand that if you find out what you're good at, which takes time, and you find out what you're, uh, uh, what people, other people will pay you for, which takes time, and find out how to study that and to monetize that, which takes time then you could be sitting on a million dollar idea while you are going to work trading time for money. And there's nothing wrong with trading time for money, but make sure that you give yourself some time first every day. Make sure that you pay yourself first every day. Now, most wealthy people have two things. One of two things, but most of them have two things. Real estate and investments. And I'm going to tell you that the, uh, um, uh, that the lowest round on the ladder to wealth is investing. Investing, investing, investing. Now, I'm going to tell you that everyone that has been listening to me and, and, and anyone that hears it now and you say, yes, but I don't know how, I'm telling you there's more information out there than ever. There's more books out there than ever. There's more um, uh, um, uh, YouTube Instagram, Facebook posts on investing than ever. You literally can pick up the phone and call Fidelity and they will walk you through step by step how to set up an account. I have some on, on my page on how to just simply set up an account. I'm telling you guys that the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of the world is going on right now. And it started with COVID. COVID, it was a lot of bad things that happened, but COVID was a major shift in your families, what we value, and in our finances. But I will tell you this, and I want you to type this in. I want everybody to hear this, to type this in. Faith without works is dead. Now, there are some fake videos out there that just tells you Money is coming. You got a million dollars coming. You're going to wake up in the morning. It's going to be in your bank account. And it's time out for that foolishness. People need to know how. I will tell you this. You literally can open and should open up if you don't have any investments. I don't care if you have a 401k, right? I want you to open up a broker account. I want you to study on how to do that. I show you that on this page. And I want you to start investing long time, long term and for a long time. The first stock that I want you to buy is either VTI or VOO. These are ticker symbols that you could buy. And these are ETFs. VOO is the S&P 500, the top 500 companies in the stock market. And VTI is the overall stock market. All right. Just buy that. And just start there. And while you're trying to figure it out, listen, do not 
Put all of your money into that right now, right? Here's what I suggest for me, my loved ones, and my friends. I'm saying that so I don't get, you know, whatever. And I suggest it to you. I'll take it. I'll suggest this to you. You may say, hey, I heard that that is not, you know, that's a farce. 1792 is when the New York Stock Exchange was established. 1792. People that have woken up have been making money in the stock market since 1792. Show me any other thing that you know that has a better track record than that. I'm telling you that this is an entryway to a path to you being wealthy. And there's some statistics here that I read on last week saying the average retirement, $256,000. You've worked 35 years and that's your retirement. I got news for you. That's not enough for you to live on. There's a popular viral video going around of a gentleman that worked over 30 years in this company and he has no pension. He has been pouring into this pension for 30 years to retire and it is gone and he is losing it and my heart breaks for him. But I'm telling you, the best thing you can do right now is educate yourself on how to be wealthy. I don't care if you're 15 uh, or 75. It doesn't matter. It's never too late for you to start. Now, the earlier you get this information, the better off you're going to be. So if you, along with your retirement, and, and especially for you guys that don't have a retirement, don't have a 401k, your jobs don't even offer it, which are millions and millions, small businesses, okay? So the average, uh, um, uh, the average uh, uh, social security is around 1845. And you're doing good if you do that. I, I talk to a lot of people, they're, they're only making $1,200 on social security. How are you gonna live on that? OK, but if you invest five hundred dollars a month into the S&P 500 in 30 years, you're going to have almost uh, one point four to one point five million dollars. So while you're trying to figure out how to be wealthy, you can be building wealth. And the number one thing, you know what, let me let me say that another way. The very first day that you make your first either $100 or $500 per month into the S&P 500, remember, ticker symbol VOO or VTI, just breathe because you are now building generational wealth. And then what you do is when you get your raises, you get your bumps, don't go out and create bigger bills. Don't get a bigger car, a bigger house. Deposit more money into the S&P 500. As a matter of fact, for those of you out there that's been investing, I suggest that it's 50% or more of your overall portfolio. Yes, that much. And that's how much it is in my portfolios. Over 50% because I don't care how good your, your uh, level of trading or investing is. Long term, you're not going to out perform the S&P 500. And so I want to continue to have this conversation on how you can build wealth. And yes, God does want you wealthy, but we're going to continue to talk about how and not just give you uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill and don't give you anything uh, substantial or concrete or don't give you a blueprint on how to actually physically and financially build wealth, but it takes the work. So on this video, I want everyone to comment simply, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. It doesn't matter how many times you comment on somebody's page, oh, God is gonna bless me. And it, no, he ain't. As a matter of fact, he don't even like, la he, he doesn't bless lazy people. Let me put it that way. If you read the Bible, every place that Jesus went, he found somebody that was working. It's all there. He didn't find anybody laying under a shade tree. And so we have to do the work and stop with all of this hokey pokey stuff and making a mockery of God and his principles and how things work. There are laws and there are spiritual laws. Okay. 
And one of the laws is, is faith without works is dead. Does God want you wealthy? Yes. I can guarantee most of the people that are listening to me right now, you can be wealthy. You can be a millionaire and in a shorter time than you really think. But like I said in the open, it's not an elevator ride. It's time for you to take the stairs. So please comment. I want to see a thousand comments. Faith without works is dead. There's a lot of free stuff, um, even on my page. If you go down, I have playlists. I have one playlist called For Beginners, and it simply shows you how to open up a broker account. What is the stock? How do you make money off of a stock? You know, how does stocks pertain to companies? I have free stuff uh, uh, that is on my YouTube page for those of you that know absolutely nothing about how this works. And for those of you that want to go further, I have a links that is in the description below. Check out all of the links in the description below after this video is over. Okay, go and be blessed. And remember, yes, God's, God does want you wealthy. He wants you to do the right thing with your money. He wants you to help and bless other people. And um, um, most, of, most of all, he wants you to honor him with your finances. Okay, live, love, laugh, learn. My name is Larry Jones. If you uh, our first time uh, visitor to this page. We love you. We have nothing but the truth for you, but the truth will make you free.